This is a very important election Nigeria is going into. Nigerians and other members of the Royal African Society from different nationalities converged on central London to participate in an event captioned How to Fix Nigeria, the 2015 elections and beyond. The debate between the APC and PDP representatives gave both Nigerians and non-Nigerians a feel of what each party is bringing to the table. But the questions coming from participants show that many are not too convinced with what they consider rhetorics of achievements and promises, especially as the arguments do not explicitly touch on the big issues, insecurity, imminent electoral violence, and the economic downturn. I'm really struggling with this idea that everyone is saying that regardless of who wins, there's going to be violence. And it appears that neither of the candidates, none of the parties, seems to be taking this as seriously as it should. What can Nigerians do? to ensure that no drop of Nigerian blood is spilled after February 14th. Independent views of some experts signal the need to engage with these bigger issues that will determine the direction of the nation, regardless of who emerges winner. I'm no expert on either exchange rates or oil prices, but I haven't spoken to anyone who thinks that the oil price is going to recover in a hurry or that the Naira is going to either. Um, the reality, when the shouting is over, is that the budget um, is going to have to be cut. So uh, those things are going to have to be dealt with um, if this government gets into, into, into power or if the opposition wins. The second thing is how these parties are engaging with these issues, what kind of agenda they have in terms of how they're going to uh, really tackle corruption or insecurity or, or economic uh, management issues. But where does all this talk leave us, many ask? What happens after we talk? How can Nigeria be fixed, if at all? What we want to do is to find people who will bring fresh insights to this discourse and see if we could particularly attract a new generation of people to thinking deeper. None of the representatives of the party today have been able to tell us um, how they're going to balance, the, what they're going to do with the fact that the oil price is going down. What Nigeria needs to me is independence and candidacy. We have a strong on paper army but it's you know uh, lacking in certain things and it's not the things that we think about like weapons it's lacking in structure so logistics administration things like that and those are the things that can only be addressed by analyzing and addressing those problems. I the that our government is trying to do something to the people of northeast then by now Boko Haram have become something of the past but because of the corruption. So you have these thoughts coming out from people on this end, and it gives you a sense of the concerns and the trend of the conversations about the elections, but also what happens after. From London, Doris Okenwa, Channel Television News.